from Sheep Farm Felt and today I'm going to be demonstrating my felt ball eyeballs. When you purchase a kit from me you're going to be getting 20 of the, these three centimeter felt balls which are a little bit bigger than my normal size. You'll be getting a mini foam mat, two felting needles, and then these colors of roving. Two color browns, two colors of blue, green and yellow, and black and white. So let me demonstrate how to make them. With one felting needle, I'm just gonna secure one down so it doesn't roll around. I'll make a blue one for us today. So first what you're gonna need is a little bit of roving. You don't need scissors to cut it, you just gently pull. And you only need a piece about as big as your thumb. It's gonna be pretty, pretty small. You can coil it around and that's how you start to make the circle. It actually helps if your fingers are a little bit wet. Okay, so you're just gonna start tacking that down with the felting needle. Now when you felt, you always wanna make sure your needle goes in and out at the same angle. If you put it in this way and then take it out this way, it's going to break your needle. So you always wanna go in and out at a right angle. See what I'm doing is just moving the fibers with the needle and then poking it down. And what you can do is kind of do this little swirly motion if you have a lot of little loose fibers. When you make your eyeball, you're going to work from the back up. So that is the iris, and now we're going to make the pupil. Same way, you're just going to coil it around. Place it on, attack it, and it'll look too big when you first put it on, but we'll make it smaller. Now, if you want to make like monster eyeballs, you can make cat eyeballs so that the pupil's more oval instead of round. That's up to you. Then we just need the white. Now, eyeballs are always wet, so they always reflect light. So what we do is we add just a tiny bit of white and we always call that the spark of life. Must put on the spark of life. <laughs> so you're just gonna put that down as well. Now in order for it to look a little more, stand out from the eyeball a little more, we're gonna add a black rim around it. If you wanna add like a light blue rim or start with a light blue eye with a dark blue rim, you can do that too. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece of roving, hold it with two fingers and wrap it around my one finger and we're gonna create a piece of yarn. See that? Place it on the outside of the color part and poke it around. It'll probably be too long, so you can pull it, cut it, or just poke it in. You can use these eyeballs to put put in a jar kind of looks kind of spooky on your mantle and I also have an option where you can get a garland kit if you want to string these on with a garland Can't wait to see what you guys do with these if you want to hashtag them with SSSFF eyeball so we can see what you guys make. Thanks so much for watching.